That's right, everyone. Today we're checking out .NET MAUI Preview 1. So let's get into it. Hey everyone, I'm James Montemagno, and today we are checking out the latest bits of .NET 6 Preview 2 and the very first preview of .NET MAUI, the multi-platform app UI toolkit. Now I'm super excited about this because .NET MAUI, we just did a video on it, and I said, should you learn Xamarin now? Should you wait for .NET MAUI? And the answer is, you should definitely learn Xamarin right now today because all of your knowledge and your skills and your c -sharp and your .NET knowledge is gonna apply to .NET MAUI later on when it releases with .NET 6 in November of 2021. Now this is really cool though because that means that we can just start playing with stuff, right? We could check out new awesome cool dev tools and, and platforms um, with .NET MAUI. So let's just do it, to be honest with you. And that's what I wanna do today. I was streaming over on twitch.tv slash James Montemagno and I did a whole sort of dry run, checking it out from scratch. So today we're gonna condense that down and I'm gonna show you what you need to get started with .NET MAUI, Visual Studio and .NET 6. So let's get into it. All right, everyone. So here's this awesome blog post from my good friend, Rich Lander, telling you everything about .NET 6 Preview 2. Now, what you'll note here is that it includes early builds of .NET MAUI, early builds. That's what we're going to say. This is the very, very first release of .NET MAUI. And there's tons of stuff inside of this thing. There's tons of stuff inside of .NET 6 Preview 2. You can learn about ASP.NET Core updates, EF updates, but here are the big things. Android, iOS, Mac, Mac Catalyst support coming into .NET 6, bringing everything together. So you can read through this amazing, amazing blog post about performance, all this stuff. Great update here about you know Xamarin development, how it's being rolled into .NET 6. And then here is the .NET multi-platform app UI, .NET MAUI. Now, I mentioned earlier that this is the evolution of Xamarin Forms. It is the next version, the next iteration, the next restructuring. And I talked about in my previous video that I put up over there about how if you start with Xamarin Forms today, you can easily upgrade and migrate to .NET MAUI. And all the XAML, all of your shared code, all of your libraries will continue to work. There'll be some cool upgrades because it is switching over to the SDK style projects, multi-targeting with a single project and adding a bunch of cool stuff like shared fonts and images and things like that, which is really, really cool. Now, my favorite part though of .NET MAUI is that it's gonna to switch to the host builder, similar to Blazor or ASP.NET for all of your dependency injection and setup of icons and fonts and all this cool stuff. So really, really cool stuff. Now, I'm not going to get too much into .NET MAUI because, again, this is preview one, so things are going to change, but I want to get you set up so you can actually build a Mac OS app, an iOS app, and an Android application. And, of course, Windows is coming with WinUI 3, and that's not quite in, in this preview yet. Now, inside of here, inside of this blog post, you're going to find this repo, this Hello MAUI sample application, and I'll put this in the show notes, of course, below. Now, this is an awesome repo that has all sorts of projects, Android, iOS, Mac Catalyst, and .NET MAUI. So .NET MAUI built on top of iOS and Android and Mac for .NET, so built into .NET 6. So what do we need to do to get started? Well, the very first thing is that you need Visual Studio 2019. So if you have Visual Studio, you'll see the installer here. And what we want is the latest version, 16.9, or if you're on Mac, 8.9, okay, over there. That's the latest version of Visual Studio 2019. Any edition, I have Community Edition here. You don't even need Preview. You can use it if you want to. Now, with this preview of .NET MAUI, there's different forms of support for Visual Studio, Visual Studio for Mac, Command Line, and VS Code, and we'll talk about that here as things go. Now. You will need to install .NET 6. So if you're on Mac or PC, it's here. This is the same exact version that is on the .NET website. So the same thing that's in the blog post, it's the same version. I um, mean, you can download it from here or there. It's the same link. So you install that. That takes about 30 seconds to download. It's about 170 megs and boom, you are good to go. Next up, you will need to install the iOS and Android workloads, okay? Now, um, this is important because .NET 6 you know, ships 
the components separately, basically, from my understanding. So this is a workload for Android and iOS that you'll install on top of .NET 6. I downloaded these uh, MSI files for Windows. They take like 30 seconds to install. It's so crazy fast, and you're good to go. Now, if you are on a Mac and you want to try Mac Catalyst, you will need to install the Mac version over here, um, which is really cool. The final bit that I'll talk about, though, is that if you're on Windows and you want to actually run an iOS app, you will need a host, a connected host um, from Visual Studio, and you will need to install all the same things on a Mac. Now, I only tested Android up to this point, and it kind of made sense because I'm just everything local here, but you could totally do that. All right, so check this out. So over here, we have some information about Android, the SDKs that you'll need, iOS, the versions of Xcode you need, and .NET MAUI. And it does give us information about Visual Studio and Visual Studio for Mac. So right now, today, of this recording of Preview 1, Visual Studio 16.9, it only supports Visual Studio on Windows for Android and iOS .NET 6 projects, and not .NET MAUI yet from it, okay? And we'll talk about that, and we'll, we'll build, and we'll do some stuff on here. For Visual Studio for Mac, nothing yet, so it's just command line. However, over here, Visual Studio Code does have debugging support for Android, which is super cool. We'll talk about that here in a bit, okay? So again, very, very early bits. Get that in your mind. This is super crazy early. Um, so if you want to set this up, you want this working, in Visual Studio just to check out Android, give it a give some feedback to the team. You will have to create this file via command line. It's called enable workload resolver.sentinel. I have no idea what that means, but it's kind of cool, kind of feels futuristic, and that's how you do it. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to copy and we're gonna clone this. So I'm gonna go into Visual Studio. Let's pop that up. There we go. And I'm gonna say clone a repository and paste that in. Done. All right. So what's nice about this is that there's a bunch of different projects and solutions for you to check out. So we're going to note over here in the solution explorers, we have samples, which has all three solutions, Android, iOS, and .NET MAUI right here. Now, right from Visual Studio, we can open the Android solution, which is just an Android project. So this is dot, not, dot, not Xamarin Forms, not .NET MAUI. This is just an Android project, nothing else, just a few material design components. And if I right click and I hit edit project, what we're going to note is that this is the entire project. Okay. It has everything here, which is kind of crazy. It loads up the Android emulators and I can hit build and I can start running. Okay. So it's going to build this application, all this stuff. Now to get this working, remember that I came over here and I had to enable visual studio support by running this command and I'm using community edition. So I did swap out enterprise for community. That's how I got that working. Now, um, when you go ahead and debug, this is going to build obviously, and it's going to take a little bit of time, but it will also launch your Android emulator. So visual studio on windows will automatically, or Mac will automatically bring this up, but you can always come into tools, Android, Android device manager, and you can go ahead and bring up the Android device manager and run this manually. Okay. And you'll have to do this if you're running it via command line or from VS code today, but there we go. Literally an Android application running on .NET 6. Boom. Done. All right. So let's do .NET MAUI. Okay. So let's do this. Let's go ahead, close visual studio, but boop, boop, leave our emulator up. Okay. We're going to do that though. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we are going to look to see how do we build this thing. Okay. Here we can do .NET build, which is really nice. Since it's part of .NET 6, we can just do .NET build, hello, iOS, hello, Android. And we can do dash T run, which would run it on an emulator. Same thing here. Now, again, your emulator needs to be running or attached. If you have your Android device attached, it needs to be attached there. So let's go ahead and bring up a command prompt. Here we go. And I'm going to do CD here. And we're going to do .NET build and I'll say, hello, Maui. And you have the option. If I just do .NET build Maui, it's going to build my iOS, Android and my Android application over here. Um, because if we look inside of here and we look at our project 
in VS Code per se, we're going to note that it says Net6 Android, Net6 iOS. It has single project set to true, application ID, MAUI is the title, version codes are inside of here. It has the, the .NET MAUI NuGet package. And finally, it has all of our app icons, images, and fonts built right in here, which is crazy awesome, okay? So just to save time, I'm just gonna do dash F, which is going to tell it what target framework to run. This is kind of new here. So I'm gonna say net 6.0 dash Android, okay? So this should determine projects, restore my NuGet packages, and then actually go ahead and like build it and then I'm ready to go. So let's see how long this takes. So this may take a little bit of time. Obviously it's spinning up .NET 6 here, doing some things on my machine. Uh, but at this point it is building my Android application with .NET 6, with .NET MAUI, all 100%. So let's give it a few seconds to do its thing. All right, there we go. So the first build took just about a minute or so. So let's go ahead and now deploy it. So I'm gonna say build hello Maui, but now I'm gonna do dash T run, okay? Now it may give you this error that the run doesn't exist and we can actually note that there's an issue right now where we're gonna to need to do dash dash no dash restore, okay? And when we do that, it will then work, okay? So that's gonna take that build, that thing that I have, and it's gonna go ahead and now boot it up, and it's gonna to attempt to connect over here. And see, I already built once, it only took nine seconds this time, and now I have a .NET MAUI application right here. I can click, I can see it increasing, I can use my sliders over here, I have entries coming up over here, which is super awesome, and I have it all right here. Now, if I wanted to, of course, I could come in, and I could open one of these files. So let's move this over here and let's go ahead and just open up the XAML file, okay? And I could change this um, text color to let's say orange, for example, hit save. Let's go back over here, run again. So this will build it up, do some diffing going on. And this should boot up our emulator one more time. There we go. And then what it'll do is take my changes that I just had over here in this file and then deploy it yet again to um, here. And again, it was pretty quick because it already built it once so I needed diff, and now it's orange. Boom, good to go. Now it is, like I said, an early bit, so we don't see hot reload. We don't see, you know, um, debugging from Visual Studio, things like that yet. But now that we have it running from the command line, we can actually open up this project in VS code. Okay. So I've been opening just files, but let's go ahead and close these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the hello Maui folder. Okay. Inside of here. And oh, sorry, not the hello Maui folder. That's important. What we actually want to open is the entire, entire sample repo. So what they did is they actually have a workspace set up. Let me go ahead and zoom in over so you can see it. They have a workspace set up and you can hit open workspace. Of course, my face is in the way, so we'll just hit open workspace, okay? And so they've set this up for us automatically. And this shows us all of the code that's inside of here. So we have actually Hello Maui. I had these files open earlier. Here's our orange that's here. We have our main page code behind under here. And here's our view that's being created, our button clicked event that's happening here, all good to go. Now, this being said, I want to make sure that you kind of are aware that while this is early, it kind of shows off some of the really cool things that you can do um, with Don and Maui and how this is changing. So we have this view property, which is starting of an MVU pattern here. Of course, we have normal button clicks. This could be MVVMified if we wanted to. We have a font family here that has um, is being registered inside of our application class. So we can see configure fonts. You can see it has iWindow, which will be a Windows management system. Um, so if you're doing desktop applications or things like that, that'll be built right in, and it's a Maui app. It's pretty cool. So let's check this out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this page. I have a breakpoint here. Let's go ahead and hit debug. And in the window, it says debug node, uh, sorry, 
debug net six mobile samples. So I'm going to hit debug. It's going to ask me, what do I want to debug? Well, hello, Maui, Android debug attached debugger true. So it's kind of built into VS code, this initial support here. The only extension I needed to install was the mono debugger, which actually popped up and told me to actually install that. So let's go ahead and see if this is going to run over here. There we go. So it stopped and it's building any changes over here that it may need. And then it's going to go ahead and boot it up and you can see it's building down here and it's deployed. There we go. All right. So there we go. If I hit click me, I see the count. If I go ahead and go over, we see the count is one over here in our window. We can continue on. Now, of course, I've clicked it yet again. So I click it one more time. We have two, we have three. There we go. All right, I can remove that breakpoint and we're good to go again. I can click, 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 and we're done. Now, the same thing over here, though, is if I wanted to change this and say to red, again, there's no hot reload as of preview one right now because it's really, really early bits. But of course, I can go ahead and redo this, redeploy yet again, and simply get my debug session up and running. And now I'm actually debugging, making changes to my .NET MAUI application, to my Android emulator or device from VS Code. And again, this only takes a few seconds to compile and get going and booting it up over here. And there we go. I mean, that's it. That's all you got to do. And that is how you get started with .NET MAUI building iOS and Android Mac applications in preview one. These are super early bits, but I wanted to walk you through sort of the setup. What is required? How do you get going? And of course you can have feedback by submitting that into the .NET MAUI repo as things progress. Like I said in my last video, you know, this is fun to play around with and I was really excited to get it working, especially in preview one, but it's an early preview, right? It's the very first preview and it's going to be really fun to see it advance and go forward. So as we're continuing to build up our Xamarin applications, we do our 101, all of that knowledge is going to come over to Don and Maui and then we'll add in some new flavor, some really cool things like those um, app icons, those resources, those fonts, the single project, um, all sorts of good stuff. And of course, Mac Catalyst support. Anyways, I really hope that you found this interesting. Hope you give it a try, whether you're on Mac or over on Windows. Uh, definitely let me know how your experience went. I'm sure the dev team would absolutely love to know. Um, but I had fun doing this. I hope that you enjoyed it and hope that you give this channel a subscribe and a thumbs up and a ding of that notification bell, all those things. So you get notified that thumbs up though. It does go into the Google algorithm of goodness and helps recommend this video to others. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter or on Twitch at twitch.tv slash James Montemagno, where I live stream every Friday, man. I hope that you really, really enjoyed these videos and, and give Don and Maui a try. Um, but I hope that you continue to follow along in my Xamarin 101 tutorial series right here on my channel. But thanks everyone for watching and please leave comments below and I'll try to get to all of them that I possibly can. Have a good one.